Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm off to LA and I'm so excited. I had a little bit of trouble checking in because the lady couldn't find my Esther, which is like a temporary like visa, like if you're visiting the US and I like freaked the fuck out. Also missed my flight because I had to do this connecting flight from Perth to Sydney. I don't know why I always had in my head that I had to leave on Thursday, which is technically correct because my flight was this morning um, from Sydney at 9am, but that meant I had to leave Perth the night before, which was Wednesday at well, around this time, 10.30 at night. So I just completely missed that flight. I woke up to a text from Virgin saying your flight has safely landed in Sydney. And I freaked the fuck out, called mum, and I was like, um, what's going on here? Like, because I just didn't hear from mum. Like, mum didn't even, like, usually she messages me, like, before I'm about to, like, fly out and, I don't know, say something like, you all packed, you all excited, but, like, I just hadn't heard anything. And she just thought, like, I was at the airport. So she was just waiting for my message when I'd landed, but we both didn't message each other. So she just thought, like, I was on a flight. Um, but I actually was eating cheese in Peter's bed when I should have been at the airport, but whatever. I'm here now. I booked a new flight and I'm so excited. So I fly from Perth to Sydney and then I've got a three hour stopover. And then I fly. No, that's not me. Um, and then I fly from Sydney directly to LA, which is like 14 hours. Hopefully it has Wi-Fi so I can do some sort of work, but yeah, I'm going to try and time my sleep um, to LA time. Like I'm going to try and stay awake for this overnight flight. I've just got a coffee. I got an almond milk latte. Um, I was also hoping to find a table so I can set up and show you guys what's in my like carry on because I've gotten, I got heaps of DMs last time I was traveling for those that were asking. Um, I take a lot of like supplements and like keto snack so I might even try and find like an empty space at the airport that no one's around and like set up and show you guys um actually I might do it here okay I just hit my camera Wait. I'm gonna be so embarrassed anyways I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my carry-on this is my never full bag seriously the best for traveling it's not the biggest size it's um smaller i'm just gonna pretend i'm like facetiming or something on my phone so bottle of water i've got my wallet and i've exchanged um american money so i've got a few hundred and then i've got a travel card which i've loaded um us currency on i've got a small deodorant which i'm gonna put in like a case now so i don't lose it and then I've got this little bag that I keep my passport. Actually, I might put that in before I lose it. And then I've just got my keys for my lock. I've got my Apple Watch. Actually, I might put it on now. I just didn't want to ruin my tan. I've got my AirPods. Um, and then I just got some Australian cash. And that's it. And then just like a card holder. Um, but yeah, that's all I have in that. So I just keep that all together. I might even put my charger in there so I don't lose it. Oh my God, I'm pissing myself. I just had to move because someone, like I was literally in the middle of nowhere at the airport and someone just decides to sit right next to me, like out of everywhere. Okay. I've got a spare, of, a spare pair of clothes. Okay, so I've got a spare pair of clothes, a spare pair of undies. I've got just a t-shirt and then bike pants that I'm going to get changed into once I land. And I just forgot to add my um, jazz tank. I've got my um, portable charger, work phone. I mentioned the deodorant. I've got some face masks and eye masks to do on the flights. I've got my glasses. I don't even know why I packed two. I've got all of my SD cards and spare batteries in here. It's just a phone, um, glasses case. I've got dead all wipes because 
I literally wipe down everything when I go on planes because I'm that person. <laughs> I've got um, a spare um, hair tie in case I need it. A bloody shitload of like treats and stuff. So I've got like some Well Naturally bars, Atkins, electrolytes, nut butters, protein bars. I've got the lot. Vitaworks white chocolate in there. Oh, I've got some of these bars. They're so good. Kiss my keto. I've got some, like a whole tub of electrolytes, the little ones. I've got a US adapter. I bought two of those. I've got some sleeping pills just from like the chemist over the counter ones. Um, I've got some more snacks. Um, I've got some moisturizer, which I just put in a little tub. <laughs> some more chocolate. I've got some pocket tissues and then hair ties, band-aids and all that. And then I've got my little um, drug kit. <laughs> Not really, but so what I have in here, so it's just like a clear bag. I've got band-aids, I've got toothbrush and toothpaste, Nurofen, um, hand sanitizer, vag wipes, lol. Um, Vitamin C's, Cervirax because I get cold sores, my pill before you speak coffee, strepsils, um, cold and flu. I've got some of that nasal stuff in case I get a blocked nose and that's about it in there. So that's my little drug um, compartment. Toothbrush is a must, especially when you're traveling like long haul flights because there's nothing worse than having furry freaking um, teeth but that's about it anyways I don't board for another I think it's like an hour I just like to get to air I'm like that person that likes to get to the airport a bit earlier so I can like relax get a coffee go have a look at like bookshops which I might actually see if I can find a nice book but I do have a lot of work to do on my laptop so yeah that's everything that I managed to fit in my carry-on it's like overflowing but yeah I thought I would share that with you guys I'm super excited I know last time I went to America I said I was gonna vlog which I did but I didn't get really enough footage and I wasn't really committed to vlogging because I was on a Kentucky tour I was meeting new people and I just felt a bit like awkward and funny like I wanted to sort of like live in the moment and not have like cameras and like random people's faces at first um so i'm kind of glad in a way that i didn't vlog um just because i had the most amazing time um and it was just nice not to have the camera out um for once even though i do love vlogging but you know what i mean like when you're with randoms and people that haven't met you or like know you they probably would be like what the fuck are you doing but yeah definitely will be vlogging my trip because mimi will be vlogging um as well so I won't feel weird, but yeah, I cannot wait to get there. I hope there's good movies, but I will chat to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got off the plane from Perth to Sydney. And I'm just waiting for the train to transfer to the international terminal because I was in the domestic. Oh my god, it was so hard to find. I had to purchase a ticket and then I had to go down a platform. Holy shit, I've never seen a double-decker train in my life. Anyways, I think my train comes in four minutes, if I'm reading correctly. But oh my god, do I have a story to tell you when oh I'm staring. Alright, so when I got to the airport, you know how I like sat down to vlog like I was actually sitting on the floor and set up my vlog camera um like on a chair anyways this guy just came and sat behind me but I didn't really take notice so I was like oh he must just be waiting for the gate because I was like near the gate and um because he was behind me I didn't really notice him like looking or being sus or anything so then I just like shrugged it off and then um I moved because I like felt a bit awkward him watching me vlog so I um, moved to like the back of the airport where there was like literally no one, nowhere near my gate. And that's where I finished like my little haul. And then like five minutes after, he comes and sits behind me. And I was like, what the fuck? Like that's a bit random because I noticed it was the same guy. Um, and then, yeah, and then I like stopped. 
stopped and thankfully like I just finished showing you guys what's in my um, carry on. Anyways, he just kept staring at me because I could see him now because like, he was literally sitting right opposite me and my ticket was next to me um, but like obviously oblivious and as they were announcing the boarding so they were like 15 to 20 which must have been or yeah must have been him wait no he must have been 30 like the back of the plane usually like boards first so they were like i don't know 40 to 30 or something anyways i didn't even take notice he comes up to me i have my airpods in so I to like remove them and he goes hey you from sydney and i was like no and he goes he was like a seedy guy like yeah just a seedy typical like guy um probably like late 20s early 30s people are coming anyways so i was like no and then he goes oh well, would you like to go on a date with me like can i take you out and i was like i have a boyfriend and he goes oh okay and then quickly went on the plane so then i was like okay that was fucking weird i sit down i took a photo of my screen he, you know how like you can chat between seats on planes, like when they have the screens? I get this notification on my screen, like literally as soon as I sat down, turned on my screen, it said, um, 30D would like to invite you to a chat. I was like, what the fuck? How does he know? Okay, this is my train. Continue later. Anyway, so I like declined it, but like, how creepy like he would have had to unless it wasn't him and i'm overthinking but like who would randomly invite me to chat with me over like the system that they have on the plane like i just automatically thought of him and i was like what the fuck so as soon as i got off the plane um i literally just ran to the train station and as soon as i got down to the platform there was no one there so I like freaked out and I quickly got my ticket and now I'm on the train so yeah um but I feel better now <laughs> but like just the game on the guy like honestly just won't stop but um yeah on my way to the international airport I need to go check in again and get a boarding pass and I don't leave for another two hours so i might just chill have a coffee i'm not really hungry i'm gonna try and fast but um yeah i'll just try not to eat until i'm hungry because my worst habit while i'm traveling is just eating because i'm just like bored so yeah um i think it's coming up like real soon so i'll chat with you guys later oh, Pardon? Australia. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 13 oh, hours. Oh. Very far. My leg was <laughs> um, So we've made it to LA. My room's not ready yet, so I just went and had a shower in Mimi's room. There's Mimi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I forgot my sunglasses. Oh, do you want to oh, go yeah. up and get them? I'll just wait here. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, All right, I'll wait here. Um, yeah, I just got to LA. We just checked into our hotel. We just got a place like near beauty con so we didn't have to travel so far but we're just gonna go get a coffee it's now 8 35 a.m surprisingly i actually don't feel too jet lagged but i feel like i will be in a couple of hours i just need a coffee and i think i'll be sweet even though i've had like four i should be fine and maybe just some food i like literally just snapped the whole entire plane ride i only had that um Oh, on the plane, I only had like scrambled eggs for breakfast, but all the other meals I just didn't even feel like. So I just had like my Atkins bars, I had a s smart protein bar, and yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna go head to Starbucks now, probably walk around, and then we're gonna go hike up the Hollywood sign. So I'm in my stacks, these are the bike pants, I'm wearing the um, crop, and then the tank over the top as well. I'm actually so keen. I wanted to do it last time we were here, but we didn't have enough time because I was on Kentucky. And yeah, it was just not enough time. We had like literally one day in LA to explore. Um, I didn't even get to go onto Rodeo Drive last time. So we want to do that. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys updated. We got our first Starbucks order. 
I ordered a Americano with sugar-free vanilla and a dash of cream and she fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> I, so bitter. Like, so bitter. But cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're in CVS, which is like a Target, but apparently like this Target is way better than our Target back home in Australia. So we're gonna go shopping. I might have a look at some makeup because they've got some brands that we don't have. But yeah, they've got a Starbucks actually in CBS. Yeah. Better? So much better. Oh, also they just nailed it. Jess. I said jazz and she's like, yeah. Everything's so much cheaper here. Like $8, which is like what? 13 Australian maybe for four. Wait, that's probably the same actually. They've got heaps of different flavors. Yum. Chop chip cookie dough. Dude, I actually can't deal right now. Look to the left. Sorry, to the right. Mimi. That's my beauty con outfit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting, Derry? Some fried toast meat. Derry's trying some um, yeah, LA street food. Show us. Check it out. Ooh, Have yum. You seen that looks spicy. Check out the book we've got here. Smoke from the pot. <laughs> <laughs> We can see the sign. We're hiking up to Hollywood sign now. Okay, wow. You can see it peeping through the trees. But we're gonna go um, to a spot where we can take it with that in the background. Take photos. We're getting closer. <laughs> we made it to the spot where everyone takes their Instagram photos. <laughs> Oh, that's one happening right as we speak. Should we go up further or here? Or should we go up there? Might as well just go where these guys are. Yeah, okay, let's just keep walking. Made it to Rodeo. I still haven't eaten all today, so we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. It looks like a movie set. We're going to the Cheesecake Factory because I went there last time and it was bomb. I'm so excited slash so hungry I could eat anything to be honest. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Looking at the cheesecakes. Yeah. 1,620 yes. calories. I've had almost all of the cheesecakes here. Yum. So, um, have you? All, all of them. Almost almost all. I'll get one over. Yeah. That looks so good. Mm. That is massive. Oh my god, yum. Thank you. Oh, I think you're good. Yeah. Cheesecake's my favorite. Right. Okay. Okay. Cheesecake from the cheesecake. What's that? What's that? Out of 10. 10. 10? Actually, I've never had it. I just love Oreos though. Like, I'm obsessed with Oreos. Anything Oreo oh, wow. flavor. Really? <laughs> The middle part tastes like ice cream. Yeah, it's like a cream. Okay, I need to try this one. Dude. Gary, you have to try That one is so good. I think I like this one though. I'm getting annoyed by that. So fucking cool. Look at this pop-up Louis Vuitton store. How freaking pretty is it? Oh my god, I'm getting a photo in front of that. Holy shit, how cute. Wow. 
Oh my god, look at that bag, look how scary it looks. That looks scary. Oh my god. Welcome guys, feel free to ask any questions. Whoa. My phone's about to die, so. Wowzers. This is literally insane. Oh my god, have you tried their perfumes? Yeah. Oh, jealous. How much is it? It's a lot. I think um, $1,500. Hey guys, so we just got back from the shops. We went to Rodeo Drive um, after we went to the Cheesecake Factory, which was freaking amazing. Um, I went to the Cheesecake Factory last time I was here and the food was so good. And of course the cheesecakes were amazing. We got the Oreo one, dead. I, like surprisingly, like I'm holding up pretty well considering I basically only had four hours sleep on the plane. Um, I didn't want to nap today at all just because I knew I'd be fucked if I had a nap like before we went out Like around lunchtime like I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep now But I know if I went to sleep now, I'd be able to fall asleep, which is good because it's like 10 30 at night Beauty cons tomorrow, which I'm super excited for I can't wait to meet like Huda Beauty and like Anastasia Beverly Hills and all the brands that are there Heaps of influencers are doing meetups, which is cool um, so yeah, I'll obviously bring you guys along. Um, what else did we do today? We went to Sephora and had a look. We just had, we just walked over. We walked. Oh yeah, by the way, that Louis Vuitton store that we went into was like a pop-up store. It wasn't actually like a store that you can buy from. Like it had lots of like vintage stuff and just really, it was kind of like a Louis museum. It was so freaking cool. Um, that was also on Rodeo. I'm not sure how long that's going to be there for, but yeah. Apparently it's a cool pop-up shop um but yeah other than that we went into ross's which is kind of like in australia kind of like tk max sort of like they've got like branded stuff there but you gotta like really dig for it i personally didn't really like it i just found it very stressful and i got like <laughs> anxiety just seeing like the most random pieces of clothes like scattered everywhere but maybe needed like a cheap pair of like sneakers because hers were hurting so yeah we just got back um, now Peter's calling me. <laughs> Good morning, LA. I'm actually not jet lagged. I had a full eight hours sleep. I don't know why it's so dirty, the windows. But I just realized I forgot after Peter um, called yesterday to jump back on and say bye. But I <laughs> literally forgot. Um, but I'm up. It's 6.30. I just actually ordered some just boiling water because they don't have a kettle here they only have like a coffee machine um so i can have my before you speak and then they were like um yeah we're charging a service and delivery fee though and i was like oh yeah how much is that and they're like four dollars plus some sort of percent and i was like oh okay no worries got charged four dollars for boiling water i've never been charged that like in room service before in a hotel but that's in Australia, I guess. Um, so I'm just waiting for that. Um, and then I'm going to go down to Mimi's room because all my makeup I just left down there yesterday because I couldn't be bothered. So I might just do my hair and makeup down at her room. But I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. So, yeah. I need to figure that out. Um, and, yeah, I'm ex so excited for BeautyCon. Probably have another coffee when we go to Starbucks or breakfast. I'm actually quite hungry because yesterday, like, was just such a weird day of food like i had the breakfast on the plane like in the very early morning um I, I had like the scrambled eggs and sausage and tomato and then i got here and i wasn't hungry so i just had a coffee and then all we ate yesterday was i had a salad from the cheesecake factory and then a fucking cheesecake which was amazing 
Um, and then I wasn't hungry for dinner, so I just came home and had like um, some Vitaworks chocolate macadamias. What else did I have? I had like a Kiss My Keto protein bar, and that's it. Um, I need to buy cacao powder today because I really felt like my adrenal switch last night. And I forgot my cacao powder, so I'm going to have to go to CVS. That sounds so weird. Just going to go ahead to CVS and get some cacao powder. Um, I'm going to have yeah, I'm gonna have to do that before tonight because I'm craving my adrenal switch. Okay, I need to figure out what to wear and do my hair and makeup. So I will speak to you guys later. So I've just come down to Mimi's room. I'm just about to do my makeup. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my outfit from Princess Polly that I got the other day, a belt, and then I'm just wearing my Alexander McQueen sneakers. I attempted to put my um, pink shampoo in, but like I forgot and I put like normal shampoo, then I put the pink shampoo, so it didn't really work, but oh well. Um, I'm probably gonna do something pretty simple today. Just like, maybe like a matte brown smoky eye. All right, is the lighting even good? Okay, whatever. All right. I'm gonna put some clear eyes in because I get really red eyes and I'm tired. I'm gonna go in with these two again. So this is the Emberless. It's kind of like a moisturizer, but primer as well. I actually feel like I feel like I'm not jet lagged at all. I feel like I fought. I was a trooper yesterday at fighting my jet lag. I'm so proud of myself. Because I actually, I was dying, okay, I was dying at like 12, I was like, at, at lunch I was like struggling, oh, yeah, not gonna lie, I was like, fuck, how am I gonna stretch this out, and then after I ate, I was fine. If they have this at Beautycon, I'm gonna buy more, because it, this is never in stock in my um, colour, when I go into Maya or David Jones, or Mecca, it's always sold out. Okay, I'm going to be putting on my fave concealer, but I can't show you guys yet, so I'm just going to put it on and tease you. But at least you guys can see what it looks like. I have to cover it really well. No, I'm, I'll just edit this bit out of me putting it on. What is it? Is it... This might be dumb, but is it play it by ear or play it by ear? Ear. Yeah. Like E-A-R. Ear. It's not E-R-E. Oh, I think... Okay. What, would you think it's E-R-E? Well, I've always well, spelt I, it ear, like as in like your ear. As in your ear. Yeah, why? Well, well yeah, I thought it was the other one, E-R-E. No. Well, Google it. Maybe I'm wrong. I like how it's not dry or cakey. Some people said that, well, the girls from that brand said it reminded them of Tarte Shape Tape, but like, I personally don't think so because Tarte Shape Tape's like, in my opinion, like clay, like it's so yeah, dry, you gotta it, you gotta it, work it. with it real fast. Whereas this one is like, I don't know, like blendable. Yeah, like. I'm just using the Laura Mercier powder all over, and then I use that to set underneath my eyes as well. I think I might um, put together some like older makeup that I've like swatched and used, and give it to like the women's shelter, oh, like nice. just give like. Cause I've got so much that like I can't really just like give away to yeah. like my followers because it's been used. Yeah, so I might just offer. like give it to people that need it. I find that like I always end up using the same products at the end of the day. Like yeah. My favorites. Yeah, same. I'm like running so low on this. Can't believe I forgot to bring another one. Also, another brand that I can't show yet that's releasing soon is Highlighter. Holy shit. It's so good. You're blinding me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Kylie palette. I'm like obsessed with this. I like use it all the time, especially this color and that brown. And I'm just putting it all over. Oh my god, I can't wait, wait to meet them. Um, Huda. Yeah. Is it Huda or Hudda? Huda. Well, Hoot, like, like Huda? Yeah, in Arabic it's a different pronunciation. Okay. Like in Arabic. I don't want to stuff it up. And like, Huda. No, yeah. Huda. Okay. Oh my god, she's so pretty, I can't deal. I wonder if 
like Hooter and Anastasia like would recognize me because they've reposted me before. But like maybe they wouldn't take note like of the people they repost. Yeah, they might. And because I'm on their I'm on their PR list as well. But like as if like they would have so many people on their PR list. I'm just curious to see if like yeah. I look familiar. Well, you kind of do have like a unique look though. Really? I get. I feel like at least once a day someone will comment on my photo saying oh my god you look like yeah like someone's friend yeah like i feel like I my look is very generic like, like my features i don't think so really mm -hmm. i look like Alyssa violet apparently you do yeah, I, yeah I was so and I, there are so many like people that i look like though like when people like message me like oh my god you look like this girl and it's like so scary like Fully, like we could be twins. At least six yeah, people in this world. One, wait, US or Australian? US. Guess how much the VIP. Wait, there's heaps of VIP ones, isn't there? There's two different. There's, yeah. Like the best ticket you can get was ours. Is ours, and it was one thousand five hundred US. Like it's gonna be insane. Yeah. I reckon there'll be like specific areas where no one else can go. Yeah, I think so. That's just bizarre. That's it's so crazy. Yeah, we're gonna get so much makeup. <laughs> Cause I need, I just need so much makeup, like, you know, to add to my collection. I'll probably end up giving you like half. Jess, yeah. Jess, I bought an extra suitcase, so. We need to... um, I'm gonna go up and get your belt now. Thank you. And then, yeah, we're gonna go get coffee, maybe something to eat, and then head to BeautyCon. I literally don't know what to expect. Like, I haven't seen videos of like what it looks like on the inside or anything. It'll just be like a huge gap. Do you reckon? Like a big, yeah. Fuck, I should have vlogged this morning. All right, peace out. Ooh. Oh my God, there's so many people. <gasps> Yay, we made it. Oh my God, I am so excited. You have no idea. Yay. <laughs> Some salad. Yum, this actually looks really good. Do you want my croutons? Uh. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of. Like, sure. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Is Huda there? I'm guessing she's going to be behind there. Yeah. That's the stage. Check-in bag. Let's open one so we can see. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely gonna do a haul when I get back. I think maybe we'll film like exactly what. Like even panties. Like. Isn't that your favorite mascara? Yes, it is. Oh Tarty lashes. Like, Collagen beauty. What the hell? Yes. Brushes. Wow. There is so much in here. I did not think our goodie bags would be so like that. Take but... my yeah. <laughs> Hi. We're doing a VIP tour with our champagne. Yeah. Oh my God. We all have bad days. 
Oh, we just got back from BeautyCon and we're like wrecked. Fried. We're actually fried. We're walking around the whole entire time and yeah. Chaos. People lining up. People are crazy there. Holy shit. So I'm going to show you guys what's in our massive 10 kilo bloody goodie bags that we got. Oh. All right. Some of this stuff isn't even like really beauty related. Like there's so much random shit in here as well. Like skincare, hair care, nail stuff. What's this? Eye drop drops. That's probably for um that for like contact contacts? Contacts? Yeah. Some perf I'm gonna go through this up like, real quick because otherwise I'll be here for like five hours. Yeah. Perfume samples, stick on nails, a black face mask. Hair, skin, and nails gummies. <gasps> Doesn't kind of Lumi Layer this? Primer Fresh. Like I've never heard of any of these brands. Lotus. Some bloody earrings, like stuff. Are they like magnetic ones? Collagen water. What the hell? Wait, wait. check the uh, the carbs and the calories on that because four grams of carbs. Oh, okay. And by the way, this is the stuff that I don't want. So where's your, do you, do you want to have your, like a. Just put it to the side. I'll put yeah, it in a I'll bag. put all of this. We're just going through everything. You can have this then. if you need this bag. Cause I only, I don't need it. Avocado moisturizing hair milk, detangling co-wash for dry oh, and curly hair. Yeah. It's like massive, look, rose water, I wonder where the bag shampoo. Is. I've never heard of that bro. Either. Shampoo and conditioner from this brand, Avita. I've heard of that. Just some face masks. I'll keep them because I love face masks. Some Bioderma. That's actually a good brand. A shower oil, Lime Crime, liquid lipstick, some nail stuff, hair and body dry oil intensive treatment. Milani blush. What's this? Ace Beauty. I'm not even gonna open the palette. <laughs> um, Slay Essentials handheld mirror. Yeah. A palette. Pro Fusion Spectrum palette. Some paper. Glamour base. Sheet mask. A G string. <laughs> some panties. <laughs> What the fuck? Someone just put the packaging in without. We've got some melon mint hydrating hair mask. Body treatment. I wonder why this bag is Dude. like so heavy. Hydrating leave-in conditioner. Some collagen powder. This that's not even half. I've still got so much. <laughs> Bath bombs. Feminine foaming wash. Wait, is that for your like your badge? <laughs> <laughs> Um, exfoliating oh. cubes. Oh, that's um, the Intensive mask. <sighs> Glowing moisturizer. I, I don't know. Any There's like, brands. oh, I actually need a nail file to file my nail. So far, I only know the Huda Beauty brand. Um, same. Just some like moisturizer, like samples, NYX. Um, butter gel. Oh, the Balm Mascara. Keep that. <laughs> Some eyebrow brushes from Anastasia. Oh, that's good. That's mm. a good eyebrow brush. I've got that. Very good. A pen. A, pen. a another lipstick. A oh, perfume samples. samples. They're always really handy when you're um, traveling. Yeah. Colored rain. Actually, we've never tried. Oh, what? this is a lipstick palette. Oh no. Colored rain. I've heard someone. Oh no. Cover girl. Wow. That's how tired I am. I've got a um, colored brain. That, that packaging is pretty cool though. L'Oreal mascaras. That lash I'll give that a go. Honestly, it's uh, um, really good. Yeah. Okay. These are just heaps more like face masks and stuff like that. We're going to do a face mask. Um, coconut oil. Um, what's this? Just like a body moisturizer. I actually need that for my legs, so that came at a good time. Watermelon peel-off mask. I love mask. Buffer brush. Oh, what's that? Ulta. Mascara. 
magic wand eye roller. So how fucking random is this shit? Mm -hmm. Zoeva Coco Blend Palette. I've got the small, uh, big, the big version of that one. Elsie, the minimalist palette. Um, Manuka Honey. Some more nails. Um, Everything's like moist. Oh, there's Amika. Jelly shampoo. Party guy, lashes. That was forcing you to buy. Dose of lashes. Yeah, this guy was like forcing me to buy a curler. He was like, you get two, buy two, get one free. I was like, no. He's like, oh, I'll give you a discount. I was like, I don't need one. And then as we're walking out, he's Nail like, well, why don't you want to buy any of these? I know. Products? He's like, what's holding you back? I was like, <laughs> yeah. I don't need one. What the fuck? I what? must come with it. Oh my God, almost done. You can tell how tired I am. Dry texture finishing spray. Lavender. Toilet spray, dude, it's a poo, it's called poo pourri. <laughs> so what, when you've done a shit, you spray it so it doesn't smell bad. Oh my god. Ew, that smells so I bad. Leave-in conditioner. It's all like hair How stuff. Are you going? There's a couple more. Oh. oh, that's it. That's it. Bruh. That took me nine minutes to film that. Oh my fucking god, like... I guess, I can't. like, for someone that doesn't have any of this stuff, like, that would be amazing. But, like, like I don't really use dairy. a lot of stuff like that. but we're at Walmart. Can I get some snacks, some cereal for Peter, some lollies, and just some candy. Should we get a trolley or? <laughs> Are we gonna need a trolley? Yeah, or even a basket. So we're in Ulta. How cool is this? I've never really seen like Kylie Cosmetics in the flesh, cause like, Obviously, Australia doesn't stock it. But I'm gonna get some translucent powder and I've got the concealer. I've got some more stuff over here, but I feel like this is all like old stuff. Highlighters there, palettes. Oh, I wonder if they have the bronze palette. Oh my God, they do, but they don't have any more in stock. Damn it. All right, so we're back home now. We went to Walmart. Holy shit, that place is so cool. I got some stuff for me and Peter because he wanted some chocolate and stuff that you can't get back home. I went into Ulta as well and I got some Kylie stuff. So um, I got her translucent powder and then one of her skin concealers because I've wanted to try them for ages. Um, and then I got this Morphe um, skin mist. I hear everyone raving about this. Cherie loves it. Um, uh, makeup artist that does my makeup all the time. Um, yeah, I've just heard really good things about it. So I picked up two of them. Um, and then I found these at Walmart. Sort of similar to the ones that I get from Low Carb Emporium. But yeah, I haven't seen these ones. One gram of carbs per serve. 13 grams protein. I love cheese crisps. So yeah, I got those. They were like $3 US. So I guess quite pricey but yeah never tried them and I wanted to try them so when me and Peter were in America at the beginning of the year he tried Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Crunch so he asked me to get him some but then he wanted to try like heaps of others as well so I just got this <laughs> cereal pack for him I got him some Milk Duds Almond Joy oh these are mine but when I first saw them I was like I swear the Lily's dark chocolate don't look like this but I think they've rebranded but this is just the Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. They're so good. I literally just have them on their own. So I decided to get them for a little snack. And for Peter, I got the Hershey's. I haven't ever seen this in my life. The Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch Mint Bar. I got this Payday Bar. <laughs> Three Musketeers. And then Score. I feel like I did well. And then I got this for him. Um, 
and then I got like another Lucky Charms, like a single serve. So yeah, that's what I got from Walmart. So Beautycon, it was hectic. It was actually, to be honest, it was so like draining because there was so many people there. People were like screaming because lots of like influencers were doing meetups and like it was just a lot going on. Like they always had people on the main stage, which was really loud. They had music, like really cool vibe. Everyone was like all so excited and happy and stuff like that. But literally by two o'clock, I was like, I am dead. And I felt my jet lag like sinking in. I was like, holy fuck, I could literally fall asleep right now on the floor. Um, so yeah, we were there from like 9.30 till almost four o'clock and we were like, we've had enough. Like there's only so much makeup you can see and like people you can see. But yeah, a little bit of a review though. So we ended up getting the executive VIP passes, which were like literally the most expensive. Um, so they had like, I think two VIP tickets. They had one that was like, like two to $300 and you got a goodie bag and then you got, you didn't get access to a VIP area, but like it wasn't anything flash. Um, we ended up getting the executive VIP pass, which was 1,600 US each. And you'd think for that we'd get like, frontline for all the influencers we'd get like free food and drinks like we, we did get snacks included but like it a hundred and ten percent was not worth 1600 us dollars yeah i just wanted to put it out there because i don't want you guys to like go and have high hopes and like spend all your money on a vip executive pass like the festival like honestly I, like, if I go next time, I'd get the general VIP, like, the one that was, like, $200. I think general admission is, like, $100 or $50. I'm not actually sure. Like, the only good thing about the um, VIP passes were the goodie bags. And to be completely honest, most of the stuff in the goodie bags are brands that I've never even seen or heard of before. There's not very many high-end products in the goodie bag. Like, yes, it was like 10 kilos and there was a lot of shit in it, but like quantity. But yeah, I would rather like quality over quantity when it comes to like goodie bags. Like I'd rather a few really good things than heaps and heaps and heaps of things, but like cheap stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like if you obviously don't have all of that stuff, which I do, like I have all that, all that sort of like skincare makeup with me, like, I feel like I only picked out, like, five or six things that I wanted to try or was interested in. And then the rest I'm going to give to Mimi to do a giveaway. So that really wasn't, like, you know, a highlight for me. We had a VIP area, which was cool and secluded from general admission. So you had your time to, like, sit down and relax. They had, like, free refreshments. So, like, they had water and sodas, um, what else do they have? Like they had snacks, like chips, like all just like unhealthy snacks, like chips, cookies, chocolate, pretzels, and yeah, that's it, and water. Um, you had to pay for alcohol, which I thought was a bit odd, like you're paying 1,600 US and they can't even like give you like a champagne, like that was all additional. Um, the only other thing that we could do was we went backstage and that's where all like the talent and influencers slash celebrities were we didn't even see anyone um but yeah just backstage where everyone would get ready to go on stage they had like mirrors and stuff with like makeup touch-ups and hair touch-ups but we didn't see any like influencers or like celebrities at the back there like at all um i feel like they wouldn't or well, they didn't hang out there like it was basically just for like producers and like people behind the scenes and stuff like that um what else that's like literally it oh and the one thing that i was kind of like what the fuck was we didn't get like frontline or like vip access to the influencer meetups or anything like that like we had to wait in line just like the general admission so like why pay so much money when you're literally getting the exact same experience as someone that's paid $50 to be there. Like I couldn't even meet 
Brett Man Rock, Huda Beauty, because the lines were just absolutely crazy. I don't know, I just 110% don't feel like it was worth 2,000 Australian dollars. Like, yep, I love Beautycon. Next time I go, I'll definitely be getting either general admission um, or the VIP pass if I want the goodie bag. So the goodie bag on the lower VIP wasn't as big as ours. I think there was only a few things, but I would have been happy with that. So yeah, I just thought I would like quickly um, give you guys my opinion on the executive um, Beautycon pass. I actually want to hear your thoughts. Like if you guys have been to Beautycon and you've bought the executive pass, let me know if you had like, like what your experiences were. Like, did you guys think it was worth it or like, I think like, to be honest, Mechaland was better. Like it was just so like, yeah, Beautycon was huge, but it was just so spaced out and like, but yeah, anyways, I just thought I would fill you guys in on Beautycon, but yeah, it is, it, it's cool. I am glad that I came to experience it. Another thing that sucked about our pass was we didn't even get access to like the influencer lounge or talent lounge. Um, obviously I like bought my own ticket, so no one really knew like I was an influencer, so I couldn't just go in. We tried, um, but our wristbands weren't pink and they're like all the influencer wristbands were pink. So obviously Beautycon gave a couple of US or actually a lot of US influencers, um, like an invite, I guess, to the event. So yeah, they, they had this whole section like cut off. Um, from the event that only influencers could go into. So we tried to get into that um, and we couldn't. So we were like, what the fuck, well, what the fuck does this pass even like get us into like a room with chips and water? And also like the VIP toilets that were in the back, the general public were using anyways. Like it wasn't gated off for like, there wasn't security or anything. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just 110% would not buy the executive pass, but like, again. But yeah, not to be like a Debbie Downer or anything, but I just thought, yeah, it's def's not worth it. Anyways, I'm going to relax. I think I'm going to put a face mask on. I need a good night's sleep because I have to get up pretty early tomorrow to get ready for day two. Um, and then the next few days, I think we're just going to go explore LA. We might go to Venice. Um, Hollywood, Walk of Fame um, because Mimi and Derry haven't gone. Um, what else are we going to do? Um, we're going to go to Catch. We were going to do that the other night but we were literally exhausted. Catch LA, the restaurant where everyone goes. So we might do that I think Monday night that's planned and then we've got an Urban Decay event on Tuesday and then Tuesday day we're going to the Two Faced HQ which is going to be so freaking fun. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah. Thought I'd update you guys. I don't know if I'll vlog much tomorrow because it'll just be like literally the same thing. Um, maybe if I get to meet a few people, I will vlog it. But yeah, it'll be exact same. But anyways, I'm off to bed and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.